is the more important thing. Hint. Hint. Like you? Exactly. The whole town is hung about it. It's not right for a woman to read. Soon she starts giving ideas and thinking. Gaston, you are positively primeval. Why, thank you, Belle. What do you say you and me take a walk over to the tavern and take a look at my trophies? What do you say we don't? Come on, Belle. I think I know how you feel about me. You can't feel the man. <laughs>
goodbye. Don't worry. I'm surprised at you. Where are your manners? Don't think that he's out here before the master finds out. This is incredible. How is this accomplished? Really, sir? You <laughs> know, Really, sir? Do you mind? <laughs> well, I'm stuck. Maybe it's some kind of new fatal scientific gadget. I, sir, am not a gadget. I beg your pardon. I don't mean to be rude, but I've never seen a tough, a tough, a tough. Chill to the bone, monsieur. Come, warm yourself by the wine. No, I forbid it. Oh, not the master's chair. I'm not seeing this. I'm not seeing this. Mademoiselle, 
Elizabeth girl in town wouldn't love to be in your shoes. This is the day your dreams come true. What can you possibly know about my dream, Kit John? Plenty. <laughs>
done this to you. No time to explain. You must go. I won't leave you here. Who's there? I know someone's there. Who are you? The master of this castle. Then you're the one who's responsible for this. Release my father at once. <laughs> I'm the master of this castle. I do not take orders from anyone. Get out. No, wait. Forgive me. Please, let him out. Can't you see he's not well? Then he should not have trespassed here. But he's an old man. He could die. He came into my home uninvited and now he'll suffer the consequences. Please, I'll do anything. There's nothing you can do. Wait, please. I said there's nothing you can do. Take me instead. No. What did you say? Take me instead. No, you don't know what you're doing. You would do that. You would take his place. If I did, would you let him go? Yes. But you must promise to stay here. Forever. Forever? Forever! Or he dies in the dungeon. That's not fair. Wait. Come into the light. <gasps> Make your choice. Well, listen to me. I'm old. I live my life. You have my word. Done. Oh, oh, please, spare my daughter. Let her go. Please, please, Bell. No. Ah! Take him to the crossroads. Master. Ah! Master, please. The girl is going to be with us for quite some time. Perhaps you'd like to offer her a more comfortable room. You didn't let me say goodbye. What? I'll never see him again. And I didn't even get to say goodbye. I'll uh, show you to your room now. My room? But I thought... Do you want to stay in that dungeon? No. Then follow. You follow me! This is your home now. You're free to go anywhere you like, except for the West Wing. Why? What do you want? It's forbidden! You are never in that book there! Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. This is your room. I hope you'll be comfortable here. If you need anything, my servants will attend you. And one more thing. You will join me for dinner. That is not a request! Watch your
One can be, as I quote, the toast of Europe, the brightest star that ever graced the stage. But all on the ruffles fell. Wait, <laughs> this is impossible. I know it is, but here we are. So oh, now, what shall we just drink the beer? This is nice. But how would you like to borrow one of my gowns? Let's see what I've got on my drawers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here we are. I wore this tonight at the home of the Royal Opera. The king himself was there. Of course, I wouldn't have a prayer of getting into it now. Hey. That's very kind of you, but I'm not going to dinner. Don't be silly, you go to the master. He may be your master, but he's not mine.
he's got him. He's got him locked in the dungeon. Oh, no. We want more ones. Seven minutes to lose. Whoa. Slow down, please. Who's got Bell locked in that dungeon? A beast. A horrible monster. Again by midnight. 
Oh, no, it's not that easy. These things take time. We don't have time. So Rose has already begun to wilt. It's no use. She's so beautiful and I'm... Well, look at me. He has a point. <laughs> Master, you must help her try to see past all that. Trying to see past all that. I don't know how. Well, you can start by trying to make yourself more presentable. Straighten up. Try to act like a gentleman. Impress her with your radio wit. Must be gentle. Show her the compliments. But be sincere. And above all, you must control your temper. Well, what? Where is she? Who? Oh, yes, the girl. Well, actually, she's in the process of circumstances being what they are. She's not coming. She's not coming. What did you say? She's not coming! We'll see about that! Your lordship, your eminence, your great <coughs> lordship, you to be a senator! I'm glad I told you to come down to dinner! I'm not hungry! I'm the master of this castle, and I'm telling you to come to dinner! And I'm telling you I'm not hungry! You're hungry, I say you're hungry! <laughs> Don't be ridiculous! What did you say? You can't go around ordering people to be hungry. It doesn't work like that. I can. Besides, it's rude. <laughs> oh, rude, is it? Well, how about this? If you don't come down to dinner, I will drag you by the hair. Master, that may not be the best way to win the girl's affections. Please, attempt to be a gentleman. Why is she being so difficult? Why are you being so difficult? Why are you being such a bully? Because I want you to come for dinner! So you admit, you're being a bully. Deep breaths, Master. Deep breaths. I'll give her one last chance. Would you be so kind as to join me for dinner? Please? No, thank you. Fine! Then storm! Master, please! If she doesn't eat with me, she doesn't eat at all! <laughs> what were we thinking? We'll never be human again. So it appears. Well, what would you two have us do? Give up? I can't give up until I hear the sound of my boy's laughter as he runs through these halls again. Quite right, Mrs. Potts. We mustn't give up while there's still the slightest chance. Lumiere, stand watch at the door, and if there's the slightest change, inform me at once. We, oui, mon capitaine. I asked nicely, and she refuses. What? What does she want me to do? Bang? Show me the girl. I know the master can be temperamental, but underneath all that Latin verb, he's not such a bad fellow. Why don't you give him a chance? Why should I? Did he give my father a chance? No, no, but once you get to know him... I don't want to get to know him. I don't want to have anything to do with him. Come with me, 
with the church for this. I'm nothing but a fool. And thanks to some quick thinking on my part, the disaster was averted. And that was the last time a stove of that weight was quarried in this area. <laughs> What's over there? Nothing. Nothing at all of any interest in the West Wing. Ah, so that's the West Wing. Where's he going? I wonder what he's hiding in there. <laughs> hiding? <laughs> what an idea. Hiding. Then it wouldn't be forbidden, would it? Perhaps Mademoiselle would like to see something else. We have exquisite tapestries dating all the way back to Aloysius the Pretentious. Maybe later. Perhaps you would like to see the gardens. Or, or the library. You have a library? With books? Stats of books, mountains of books, cascades, cloudbursts, forests, swamps, a book. Oh, yes. Illusion, help, help. 
hurt as much. If you hadn't run away, this wouldn't have happened. If you hadn't frightened me, I wouldn't have run away. Well, you shouldn't have been in the way of And you should learn to control your temper. Oh, 
you'll marry me. What? One little word, though. That's all it takes. Never. Have it your way. Take the old man. Oh, uh, Bella. Bella. Wait. I can prove my father's is not crazy. Show me the beast.
Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. It certainly was. Yes, it was. 